Hello everyone, my name is Chaos for Chaos, and I'd like to invite you to my first ever Let's Play, Back to the Future, Episode 1, It's About Time. This game was made by Telltale Games in 2010, with four other episodes to follow later in the year. Now, during, my, during the cutscenes, I'm going to try not to say so much, just because the voice acting between A.J. Lacasio and Christopher Lloyd is excellent. Now, you also, we don't want to be able to miss out on a lot of clues to solve the various puzzles within the game. So, without further ado, let's have a listen in on see and see what's going on. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this! Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this! occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Ah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern, it's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox! The first trophy in the game is one that people can often tend to miss if you don't choose the right uh, quotes. If you, cho if you choose, you disintegrate Einstein and you build notebook. a time notebook. machine out of a DeLorean. You'll Got get it. the trophy, Deja Marty. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention! The thing that makes time travel possible! In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Here, it doesn't matter Let's what see. answer you choose, the outcome will always remain the same. The square root of z times c squared, and the consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa, deja vu. Doc! No! I'm 
sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late! There was a lot of detail that went into the making of this game to keep it as close to the original movies as possible, such as the scenery, the backgrounds, the, even right down to the very props of the game. And a huge contributor to that was uh, one of the original producers of all three movies, Bob Gale. Now, I mentioned that I was going to explain trophies, and as they come up in the game, and how to get them. I will uh, spend some time to explain how to do them. Um, if there are any questions on it, uh, please feel free to leave me a message uh, in the comment section below. Look at that, it's the Wall of Cats, everybody's favorite from the original movie. And of course, the amp and speakers that Marty blew right from the very beginning of the movie. And as you can see the date is May 14th, 1986. This game takes place six months after the end of the third movie. Here's an interesting tidbit. On May 14th, 1986, Robert Zemeckis was celebrating his 35th birthday. Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. In pre-production of the, the game, the producers treasure? were hoping to be able to sign Thomas F. Wilson. Uh, I guess he was just... the guy that originally played Biff Tannen, uh, but well, apparently he I never knew didn't Doc want anything fish. to do with Doc's that any taste in decor. franchise to the like Back to the Future series. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Einstein. I apologize for that skip. I'm not fully used to the program and hardware that I'm using right now. I promise though that it will get better. Now this game has a number of interactive items in it, such as the dog feeder. What I'm going to do is interact with all of the uh, items that I can, as well as talk to all the characters that I can. Out of all of the original cast from the original Back to the Future, Christopher Lloyd is the only one to reprise his role in this episode. Now that we've looked at what we can over there, let's go and have a look over here. Uh, to progress the storyline along, what you're going to want to do to help yourself is you're going to want to select Amplifier Controls. Now, when you do that, it'll go into a brief cutscene of Marty just kind of powering it up. And once that's done, we're just going to move, uh, check anything else out. Uh, 
nothing over here yet. So let's go back here and see what Doc's got. Yep, nothing back there. Oh, forgot one. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Oh, there's there's something we can check out. A hey, Jacob's hey. ladder. Oh, hi, Marty. I believe that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. What are you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hit it. The old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say? Don't look a gift horse in the butt. Doc's not dead, you know. He's still around. Oh, really? Do you see him around here? I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... Uh, never mind. Looks like Biff's up to his old tricks with, uh, trying to make more money. Let's head over to the jukebox here and uh, have a look around. See what we can find of interest in the jukebox and let's see what happens. Oh. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. He is so whipped. The book. No, oh, sorry. Enough I meant to hit talk. the books. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. Try that again. Go for the books. There we are. Go. Oh. Doc sure did love his Jules Verne. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. <laughs> You'll remember that from the first I movie. Poison gas or anything. You know what that's for. And let's check on the town square model. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old dude. He was good with his hands. Uh, yeah. Can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old cop something new to nibble on. Yeah, well, I don't like Come you, on, so that's your answer. Yeah. I guess you're right, but I picked it up first. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have oh, here. Oh, great. Looks like plants for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Clowns to... Clowns worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Alright, so now we got to try and figure out how to get that back from Biff. Well, let's go see what. Oh, this guitar. Let's see if we can get that back. Hey, Dad. Since it's Why ours. Why got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Hey, Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. About Biff, Dad, I know you're trying to help. 
He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. Now, you remember when we played with the amp controls at the beginning of getting into the Doc's Garage? Well, now it's going to play out as for the actual port of the game. Now we got our guitar, we're going to equip it by using the X button. Um, obviously, to get into our item menu, we press the square button. Let's go up to the amp controls, see what happens. Here's an oldie, buddy goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Let's kick it up a notch, shall we? Now watch me blow the lid off this This door. had to be my yeah, favorite part of the game. Oh yeah. On, now that we solved that puzzle, and we've got Doc's legacy, which, coincidentally enough, is the trophy that you'll get because this is an in-story trophy. What's going on outside? Oh. Uh oh. Let's check out the DeLorean, shall we? Let's see what, what's going on here. Is Doc back? Doc? You only get this trophy after you go outside and go to inspect the DeLorean. But as long as you do all of those uh, steps by setting up the amp, letting Biff take it, making sure you found the notebook in the courthouse, you'll get that trophy no problem. It's Einstein. Nice. Oh, doesn't this bring back memories for some of you? I know it did for me. The flux capacitor. The thing that makes time travel possible. Never fails. Crap. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Well, I think there's the introduction of our newest hey, puzzle in this level in this game. Months, pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Well, let's uh no. Let's let's get out of here. Now, in order to progress, we need to equip the shoe by going into our item menu and show it to Einstein. What do you know about this shoe, Einy? Great Scott, I think he's onto something. Well, I think that'll do it for this episode of 
Back to the Future, Episode 1. It's about time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, all uh, comments and feedback from you. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments and hopefully I can do better on the next video. Thank you again. My name is Chaos for Chaos and I'd like to give a quick shout out to the guys at PS3 Trophies Forum and especially to uh, Broken for giving me the ability to uh, share with you the secrets that everybody has on the forum. Uh, thank you very much. Again, my name is Chaos for Chaos. Have a great night.